Hey guys, I've been making these bracelets for about five years and I want to do a quick video just to give you guys a little bit of a closer look. Um, so I make them in four different colors. The natural veg tan here, the black, the burgundy, and then the brown. So my by far personal favorite is the um, natural veg tan. So I'm going to focus on that one here. Uh, so it the leather starts this color. And then here are some that I used. So this one I wore for six months and it gets this nice caramel color. And then I wore this one for a couple of years. So eventually this same uh, light natural leather will turn this nice dark brown. Um, and the same with these bracelets that I'm wearing here. And in addition to the leather changing, I also make the copper stud. Um, so this little hardware um, so I take these, oh, I take these copper studs, and then I smash them down with this tool that I made, and then I add my logo on the tip. And so the same way you get to watch the leather change, you'll also get to see the copper start to oxidize and get that blue-green patina. Um, and then you can kind of see the logo. It's, it stays, you know, real nice and discreet there in the end. Um, and uh, yeah, so those are the bracelets. And if you are online, uh, make sure you read the instructions about measuring your wrist. You have to add three quarters of an inch to compensate for the thickness of the leather. So if you take a string or some headphones or something like that, measure around your wrist and then just add three quarters of an inch um, and that'll help get you the right size. Um, anyways, I make them all right here in um, Norfolk, Virginia. This is Werther Leather Goods. Um, Thanks for watching my video.